Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. It has now reached 1000 subscribers. I feel very privileged to be able to keep making these videos and communicating with subscribers. The subscribers to this channel always leave some great comments that I really enjoy reading. So this video is a tribute to all my subscribers. I want to tell the story of how I got from zero to 1,000 subscribers. In order to tell a good story, I rely on one of my countrymen, the great Hans Christian Andersen from Denmark. He wrote the famous story of the ugly duckling, which I will use to frame the story of the Eat Sleep Bangkok channel. This story spans no less than 67 weeks, which is the time it took me to go from zero to 1,000 subscribers. Week 25 in 2015 is when my channel was activated. I did not publish any videos for the first month. In week 29, I uploaded my first video. Uh, as you can see, I got very few views. Uh, most of these views was probably me watching my own videos. In week 34, I began promoting my own videos. I promoted them on relevant Facebook groups, as well as the Thai Visa Forum. The ugly duckling grew up in a farmyard and was scorned by the other ducklings. He's too big. You ugly creature, I wish the cat would get you. The comments I had about my videos on Thai Visa were fairly similar. These videos are not very good. Very boring. Please keep your day job. So all in all, not a great start. As you can see, my self-promotion didn't gain me any subscribers, really and only a short blip of views. In the ugly duckling story, the ugly duckling runs away from the farmyard. Then he meets a cat and a hen, and he asks for their advice about how to make it in this world. They told him to give up his own ideas about swimming on the water, which is what he really enjoyed doing. I may tell you unpleasant truth, but that is the proof of my friendship. I advise you therefore to lay eggs and learn to purr as quickly as possible. Basically the duckling was told to copy the hen and the cat as the only way to make it. Since my YouTube channel had had a very poor start, I did what the ugly duckling did and I asked for advice about how to make it. YouTube has channels that are dedicated to helping other channels get established. I commented on one of these videos and I got this advice. If nobody else likes your videos, quit while you're ahead. If you're the only one that likes them, then why post them on YouTube at all? You can put them on a USB stick and pull them out and watch them from time to time. It's time to change up and try a new approach because the one you got isn't working. To be fair, the person who gave me this advice was not the regular creator of this YouTube channel. He was a guest presenter. Nevertheless, I strongly disagreed with this advice. I believe you should stay true to yourself and not forget the reason why you began making videos in the first place. But as you can see, my stubbornness not to change my style was not really justified by my poor viewing numbers and subscriber numbers. 
The small jump in views you see here was due to uh, me trying to use uh, AdWords, where I tried to advertise my videos to get maybe more publicity. I used ten dollars to try to advertise my channel, but apart from a small spike in viewing numbers, there was little effect. I got two subscribers. However, the extra views did seem to push my videos a bit further up the YouTube rankings. As you can see, I got a few more views in the weeks following. But as I reached the end of 2015, I still had to wonder if uh, my channel would uh, ever get anywhere. Maybe I should have listened to the cat. From the beginning of 2016, I decided to begin publishing a video once a week. In week two, I tried AdWords again, but again to little effect. This time I spent about $20 and yeah, I gained four subscribers. Again, so I didn't really think this was any way to go anymore. But then two weeks later, my first big break came in week four of 2016. When Thailand Rob posted one of my videos on his Facebook feed, you can see how my subscriber numbers finally started to go up. In week seven, this was boosted further when Jeff Carter posted the same video on his Facebook feed. The spike in viewership I continue getting after this is because YouTube began putting my videos into recommended videos. The short boost I got from Rob in Thailand and Jeff Carter has propelled my channel to a new level. In week 25 I release a cost of living analysis which also brings in uh, a lot of new subscribers and views. In week 31, I got my 15 seconds of fame as the very popular Cow Chops YouTube channel featured one of my food reviews. I got infamous for eating Burger King fries with a fork and uh, people from this uh, Cow Chop channels, they flocked to my channel to uh, give me the thumbs down. However, that is all good because I get a lot more views and subscribers. What happened to the ugly duckling in the end? The ugly duckling ends up discovering that it is in fact not an ugly duckling at all. It is a swan. And all it had to do to be happy was to be true to its own nature. To be a swan. The moral of the Hans Christian Andersen story is that you have to stay true to yourself. You have to believe in yourself. Don't listen to the other ducklings who want to speak badly about your efforts. Don't listen to the advice of arrogant cats who think you should copy their style. Make the videos you want to make and keep doing it. YouTube is a huge community. And eventually, you will find people who will subscribe to your videos. Follow that instinct that motivated you to make YouTube videos in the first place. This is by no means advice about how to create and grow a YouTube channel. Um, it took me 67 weeks to go from zero to 1,000 subscribers. Other channels managed to go from zero to 1,000 subscribers in less than six weeks. This is just a story about how I got from zero to 1,000 subscribers. Some people may identify with this story. Other people might say it's a foolish story and um, I should have listened to the cat. But hey, 
that's okay, because we're all different. Thus endeth the story. Sleep well, and good night.